What we have is a closed loop photobioreactor. So our goal is to produce the greatest amount of biomass from algae that we can. And by going vertical, we believe that we can increase the yield by increasing the surface area and the volume of material that get exposed to sunlight. So we have a system that uh, continually recycles, so it's a dynamic system in a closed loop. So algae goes down, and starts out in a tank, gets picked up by a pump, goes up into the reactors, and then gravity takes control, moves it through the reactors, they get exposed to sunlight, go back into the tank, and the cycle is repeated over and over again. Uh, I know that, that algae is the fastest organism, fastest growing plant on the planet, and it sequesters the greatest amount of carbon dioxide. But at the same time, it produces lipids, basically vegetable oil, and a lot of it. So if you look at a single cell of algae in the right species, as much as 50% of its body weight is a high-grade vegetable oil. So while we're sequestering carbon dioxide, we're also producing these high-grade lipids that can be used for a variety of purposes. The beauty of algae is the fact that we can actually be selective about what carbon chains are coming out of it. So for example, if you want to make jet fuel, we can give you a strain of algae that's going to make the carbon chains that are necessary to manufacture jet fuel much more efficiently than you can any other crop. Or if you want to make diesel for a truck, we can give you the carbon chains that are ideal for that. So we can tailor the lipids based on the species of algae that we're growing. If I grow an acre of corn, and I'm looking at it from the standpoint of producing oil, uh, I can grow about 18 gallons of oil per acre per year. So now I'll move up, let's go up to the, the next highest, or, or what's the most prevalent, is palm. Palm, we get seven to 800 gallons per acre per year. Algae, I can go up to 20,000 gallons of oil per acre per year. And that's just in an open pond system. That's not in a closed bioreactor system. The, the, the problem with surface is that, one, uh, once the algae starts growing, light will only penetrate about an inch, inch and a half through the surface. So it blocks light from the rest of the surface. Uh, two, we have an enormous amount of water evaporation, so we lose an enormous amount of water that we're constantly having to replace. And the third most critical thing to us is that we get contaminants from other algae species that just float in and out of the atmosphere, land in there, and become competitive with the algae that we want to grow. We, we try to recapture every drop of water that we can. And the only water we lose is what's actually bound up in the algae and goes into the, the, you know, the oil itself and the byproduct for the algae. And once we've extracted the oil, we can even use the byproduct you know, for feedstock, uh, for soil remediation to make fertilizer, or we can ferment it and produce ethanol out of that. If we took one-tenth of the state of New Mexico and converted it into algae production, we could meet all of the energy demands for the entire United States.